Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Bio Menace Episode 2. We are in the Specimens Lab, and we're pretty close to another extra life. There is already a door open after we made our way through the Genetics Lab, and inside is a red shard. We might as well take it. Also, this is a statue, apparently. There is nothing but statues here, and there is also a statue of a Yorp from Commander Keen over here, too. So, my little visitor has come to see my newest creations. Well, take a good look at them, because these mutants will be unstoppable when they fully mature in these incubators. Don't bother trying to destroy the incubators. You can't! They're hooked up directly into the main core of the supercomputer. But never mind all that. My kamikaze mutants will soon be the end of you! And with that, the skull disappears, and we can go along our merry way. I want to be ready to duck because there's a turret right here. It may ca catch you out, it may not, depending on whether or not you're ready to duck. And if you go to the right here, you just automatically enter the next level, Killer Pillars. But if you put this shard in, and then go back, you'll find something. Also, don't jump into that electrical barrier, you will get hurt. I'm also afraid to leap onto, into those things that look like torches, but have electricity coming out of them off and on too. I'm pretty sure those will hurt you as well. But since we put that red shard in, we now have this platform I can ride up to here. And I can shoot down these turrets, hopefully without getting hurt. Ooh, that was close. And from here, I should be able to travel to the top of the room here and get some keys. Believe it or not, you can climb on this thing that is holding whatever this is in place and you can grab things up high that way. It's like there's two ladders for these things, apparently. And I want to be careful here because, again, turret. And inside here is a door that actually leads to something. Let's go ahead and... Ow. Let's go ahead and take that down. And from here, we have this key. Hmm. What a strange key. This reminds me of the key for the secret door at the final boss battle in episode one, for some reason. Maybe it serves a similar purpose. And we don't have a key for that. Well, that'll change soon because we're going to find it right behind this turret. Like so. And there's the secret door. We might as well open it. And... What? Hey, how did you get in here? George, did you leave that key lying around again? No, it was actually in a securely locked door, but I managed to open that door anyway with a key. Well, as long as you're here, we might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Jim. And Jim, and behind me is George. And Scott is at the computer. Rerun this game from in here. Hmm, interesting. So, Jim Norwood... And George Broussard are in the game. Interesting. If you promise not to tell about this place, there are plenty of supplies upstairs you can have to help you on your way. So let me check the scores real quick. So apparently... Hmm. Well, Jim Nord and George Broussard put themselves in the game. Don't know who Scott is. Probably somebody else who worked on the game, I'm sure, but... This is the secret Apogee id software room. You can see a whole bunch of references to Duke Nukem, Mander Keen. There's even a few grenades. A few enemies, a few pickups. There's even that little bouncy robot that we saw earlier. Don't know what those smiley bombs are for, but, well... They gotta be a reference to something, I'm sure. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and refill our health. 50,000 points. This thing, whatever it is. Apparently, if you press space and look in your item slot, you'll find us this over there now. We've got ourselves a couple of one-ups. And some plasma bolts that we're not going to use because we destroyed all the turrets. What is that? Oh, there's a cotton candy. That's what that is. But there is a hidden staff room all the way up here if you can find the secret key, which isn't that hard to do at all. All things considered. And in case you die, you can just start back up here with this beacon. So, that's all. That's basically it. There's not much to this room. There's not much to this level. You could just skip all the way to the next one and not get anything up there if you if you want. But if you don't, you're going to miss out on some crucial stuff. Ah, <gasps> oh, that's right. It's the secret level. There's more than one secret level here. And you know what? I'll just keep dying. I'll just tank all the hits. And just get everything that's up there. And get everything up there, too. And then I'll just be all the way at Killer Pillars. Interesting. I forgot. I didn't had no idea what the secret level gem even looked like. Hence why I'm like, okay, what does this thing do? No, that, that blue and white thing that we found in the hidden staff room is the secret level gem. Learn something new every day, it appears. Even when we're recording. Next up is Killer Pillars, but that will have to wait until the next video. So join me next time for that, why don't you? Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!